This is a familiar sound in Istanbul. Five times a day, the muezzin climbs the minaret to call Muslims to prayer. The call begins with the words, Allahu Akbar, meaning God is great. Mustafa Önder is a muezzin and an imam in a small mosque on the European side of the Bosphorus. The locals have mixed feelings about his singing skills. We've just moved here, and I think his call to prayer is too loud and off-key. Good loudspeakers would help. Anyone who complains isn't a proper Muslim. The loudspeakers are positioned right outside our bedroom. It's five times a day, so a nicer voice would be welcome. It upsets Mustafa to think that not everyone appreciates his efforts. He's only doing his job, after all. I never learned how to sing. When I was training, they had us sing in front of the others a few times, but that was all. Today, they place more importance on it in training. These days, the local muezzins from the Beolu neighborhood get together once a week to practice singing scales and folk songs with more experienced colleagues. Mustafa Ünder always attends. He takes his critics very seriously. After they've warmed up their vocal cords, the teacher has the group sing the call to prayer. Mustafa Cherisi is the Mufti of Istanbul. As a leader of Istanbul's imams, he was the one to push for the singing courses. But he's prepared to go even further. There are many muezzins who just can't sing. Lessons don't always help. In these cases, they shouldn't be allowed to sing. The loudspeakers in these mosques should then be linked to a central recording system, broadcasting a professional voice. Meanwhile, the muezzins are still trying to get it right. The teacher doesn't look convinced. Now it's Mustafa's turn. The teacher is happy with his performance, and he himself feels he's making progress. I wasn't very good at the midday call, but since I've been taking lessons, I've become much better. The two-hour class is over. The best students are even hoping they might get invited to the Muezzin Singing Championships, which take place once a year. But Mustafa is less ambitious. He just wants to do his job better. His family feel the classes have helped a lot. There's definitely a difference. Now his voice is easier on the ears. I'm so used to my father's voice that I miss it when I hear other muezzins. At dawn, midday, the middle of the afternoon, after sunset and at nightfall, Mustafa Önder is now much more confident calling the faithful to prayer. He definitely sounds more melodious, but out of deference to his neighbours, he's also turned down the volume a bit. <laughs>